guys, welcome to the ultimate high school reunion for the cast of Laguna Beach. I am kicking it off here with the people who started all of this. Guys, thank you so much for getting this all together. Trey, I want to start with you because you started this video. You kicked this off, modeling your hats, showing it off, wanting to get people to vote. How did the conversation start to have this reunion happen? Uh, I mean, I think it was like all good things. It was a natural evolution of conversations. It's sort of started with a couple of us uh, just wanting to do something and put some sort of skit or some kind of thing together. And Lauren being the brainchild of a lot of our misdeeds uh, helped target and direct us into something that was really gonna have some positive change rather than just a couple of goofballs doing a funny video. So thanks to Lauren, she introduced us to Headcount and, and really helped to move this thing along. Love it, that's so awesome. You guys asked for 500 people to either register to vote or check the registration status. I will tell you guys, you guys are almost at 20 times the goal, which is absolutely insane. You're almost at 10,000 people registering and checking their status. Of course, this is just the beginning. Now it's time to make a voting plan. I've made my voting plan. Have you guys all made your voting plan or already voted? Oh. Because I wanted to wear my sticker, but it felt dishonest because I haven't put it, I haven't completed it yet. Yeah, so. I, got, I got good news to report from the uh, the voting lines. I know the media likes to put out a lot of uh, footage of incredibly long lines and whatnot, the kind of worst case scenarios, but I didn't have to leave my personal space. I got left my house and got in my car and I drove right up to a ballot box, uh, an official one, like at basically the neighborhood library and uh, just dropped it off pretty quickly. So people that haven't aren't doing mail-in and still need to go out and vote. Um, I think, you know, you're going to have a lot of options. Um, some places are more crowded than others and some places get a lot of crowds at one time. And, and I think sometimes the media jumps on that, but um, it's important for people to know that, you know, plenty of opportunities to vote, uh, even some states where you can still register to vote right up until uh, election day, just, you know, all about checking your state and formulating that plan, like you said. Absolutely. And the link that you guys had shared before, which we're going to share again now, is uh, completely still works. You can go on there and do everything there. So it's super easy. It really only takes, I did it in like two minutes while I was getting my nails done. So it's like, why not? Just check it out. Nice. Well, it wouldn't be a party without some friends. So I think we should let in the rest of the group. Let in. <laughs> All right, we're going to let everybody in and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> I'll join you. What's up? Maybe if we drink Hi, more, we'll come in. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi, Morgan. Hello. Oh, Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, so, awesome. I'm looking around. I'm hey. looking at everyone, man. Everyone looks so good. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. oh, I like your hat oh, choice, by the way. Wow. Oh, what a treat, Morgan. What? Yeah. I said, "Where's Morgan?" But then I found you. It's like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Wow. When was the last time you guys were all in the same room? I guess we can. Say. I feel like oh, yeah. the last High time school? we all might have been in the same room was when it, we I think we were going to the VMAs one time and MTV was like here we're just gonna we're gonna launch the show and uh here's like 45 minutes of media training go have fun and then the show's gonna air on MTV so good luck <laughs> I remember <laughs> from there it was like oh okay all right well 45 minutes of media training before the uh the show is is released out to the world it was definitely a uh an interesting experience that way so it's probably like one of the last times we we're all together well I want to start off with having you guys kind of just Obviously, intro yourself. Everyone who's watching knows who you are, but I'm just going to still have you guys do it. And we're going to have everyone each give themselves a superlative. So it's super easy. And then just pick who you want to go next. So I'm going to go first just to give you guys an example. I'm Emily. Um, and I would vote myself most likely to be in bed by 10 p.m. And so and then I'm going to throw it to Steven. <laughs> you can kick off the rest of the group. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Stephen Cleddy, and I am, um, well, I did get uh, Life of the Party in high school. That's a that's actually something that I got, so I guess I'd be most likely to be Life of the Party in high school. I'm <laughs> uh, throwing to you, Trey, because you're next to me. I guess if we're going in that vein, I, I used to dress pretty ridiculous in high school, and somehow, some way, I got voted best, best style or whatever, um, but I guess it made sense because I'm a fashion designer now, so it works out. Um, Kristen, up to you. Wait, are we going with what we were in high school or no, what we are now? We can do now. What do we want? It's fluid. Okay, okay. I'm like, God, I'm trying not to go back to high school. Um, I'd say, oh, hi, I'm Kristen. 
And I'd say I'm most likely to be in my kitchen. I'm always just in my kitchen, whether I'm cooking or hosting people or what have you. So, um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go Morgan. Hi. Um, so, uh, let's see. I'm Morgan. And I would say I am most likely to, it feels like, be changing a diaper. Because <laughs> I have so many kids. Morgan, how many kids do you have now? I have three. So, uh, I don't think I don't have any kids. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have three kids. I, know I haven't all done anyone yet. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Um, let's do Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren. I wish I had thought of a clever answer here. Uh, I feel like I'm right now most likely to forget what day it is. That's such a good answer. Where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> we are, are I have two kids, so I don't have as much of an excuse. But uh, Talon. Okay. Well. I don't have a good answer. Uh, hi, my name's Talon, and uh, I guess I would be most likely to talk too much. I guess, like I find myself <laughs> in conversations with myself a lot. I can't. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I think about how people describe me. Like, man, that guy talks a lot. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm gonna throw it to uh, Lo. Hi, guys. It's nice to see you all. Um, I'm Lo. Hi. Um, I guess at this point, I'm probably getting most likely to be working because I need, I, I think I like never stop working at this point. I just work and I'm on calls and I'm on Zoom all day long. So it's just like, who's my next meeting? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I picked somebody. Uh, I'll go with Christina. Hi, I'm Christina and I am most likely to be a stay at home mom. Um, I have a seven week old. And at my third, and I was telling my husband, Chad, I was like, it was so funny being on this email thread with all of these amazing women. It was like CEO and founder. And I was like, CEO of the Sinclair house. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me. We got left. So it's Dieter. Oh, hey everyone. Um, I can't see anybody. So I guess I'm most old that can't operate technology, <laughs> but I can, I can see I can see Kristen and Christina and Lo, and you guys look amazing, and I'm assuming everyone else looks great too. So, congratulations. You look amazing too, Peter. <laughs> Thank you. I guess most likely to open a hotel in the middle of a pandemic, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know who's, who's left. Polster. Well, hi, I'm Lauren Polster. Um, probably uh, most likely to get picked last for uh, the costume <laughs> thing. Um, <laughs> No, no, in all seriousness, definitely most likely to be watching Trey's vote.org dance video easily <laughs> at any given time. Just kind of have it. <laughs> just looking at it, just daily inspiration. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, just want to say thank you all for putting this together and Emily for hosting and great idea. Cool. Well, congratulations, everybody. We have big success. I think Emily will talk more about it, but. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was telling the first group that came on that uh, kind of kicked this off that you guys did 20 times your goal of 500 people uh, signing up to register or hey. checking your status. It's obviously incredible. Yes, raise your cups, your glasses. Yeah. We still got it, guys. We still got it. By the way, it's 5 o'clock here. There you go. Uh, 5 o'clock here. 6 o'clock here. I'm like, wait, do I get it? It's it's I don't know about these California people. They have no excuse. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's really, really exciting. And obviously, this is just the beginning because now everyone can make a voting plan and go out and vote or, you know, already drop your ballot in the mail because it's already happening. So make sure to check where and you where when it starts in your state i know for me i already have a plan so make sure you guys all do that um we want to lead into our next segment because this is the ultimate high school reunion with a little game of never have i ever but it's a fun game it's not not too crazy i promise um so i want you guys to each take a sip if and you're obviously willing to explain if you would like to um starting out with if you still live in or you recently moved back to the oc you, so you drink, drink, right? If you, if you move, or you drink. I actually just, just I moved. I moved. Yeah, moved. moved back to the out. Yeah, I lived in I lived in Charleston, South Carolina. What? Oh, yeah. That's that's I, I know. We moved here a year ago. We would love it. Um, yeah, I've actually I I lived outside of uh, Orange County for the last like fifteen years, but would be close by in LA. Um, and then was kind of thinking about. It's funny, like we left kind of like eyes wide open, wanting to get out of town. And then as I got older. 
sometime around like when I was approaching 30, it was like, I think I want to move back to Laguna. I want to get back to Orange County. I'm not quite in Laguna, but I am uh, close to home. So and Christina and Lauren, you guys are both still, you guys are in Orange County. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went to college in LA and then everyone's like, why do you still live where you grew up? And I'm like, well, I went away for six weeks and I found my husband. Does that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Trey's the furthest one away from Orange County right now. I know, Trey, yeah, tell everyone where you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 11 p.m. over here in London, and so it's whiskey time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but it's, uh, it's a treat to be here with all you guys, even though it's late at night. Let's party. So cool. <laughs> Take a sip if you have gone skinny dipping in the ocean. Oh. Yeah. Send that, yeah. Oh, all of you. I guess if you grow up on the ocean, it's a little different. <laughs> I don't think Lauren's hip there. <laughs> she did. Well, I'm the first one. Oh, she, all right, all right. Uh, Does anyone want to tell their story? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she got arrested. I think where this is going. So it was late at night, Steve and Trey. <laughs> yeah, someone actually stole our clothes and uh, I got a ticket for nudity in public. So. No way. <laughs> where was it? That's Just what we were go. fishing for. Don't tell me you had to call your mom to pick you up. I was with Bowler. We had to walk, we had to walk like, I don't know, 20 minutes back uh, naked, like two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> in the side street. <laughs> um, all right, take a sip if you have ever rewatched the series as an adult. Like a show? I mean, no. a minute of it. I've never watched the whole thing. So no one, none of you have. That surprises me. I don't you guys yeah. like yeah, I've watched the show. Yeah, yeah. and it's entire. And it's crazy because. <laughs> Because I remember like watching it when it first came out and like every time you're like, that's not exactly how it was. Like, like this, like they changed this. She didn't really look like that. And then like all of a sudden, like 10 years later, you're watching it and you're like, oh, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking about? Like, right? Just sort of overwrites your memory. And like all of a sudden that's the truth. I'm not yeah. mine. My memory is intact. <laughs> Okay, good. Well, I guess we had different college experiences. You know what, Trey? I've never rewatched a, uh, an episode, but I did, like, I was trying to find old photos of us for this, and I found the, like, Laguna Beach High School, like, it was like a tape of all the senior activities, and it basically stars you, by the way. You're, like, in every scene, but it went through, like, all of our dances and pep rallies, and it was really funny to look back on. All right, take a sip if you have returned to Catalina since Steven's bear prank. I was just there, and I texted Steven. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I've been back. I was literally there Steve like two weeks ago for a photo shoot, an uncommon James photo shoot. And Steven and I were talking. And I was like, "This is the first time I've been back since we filmed." <laughs> I remember uh, there's a there's a part in that episode where uh, I jump off this cliff and. There was, there was a good like 30 minutes before actually getting up there uh, that I, I was stuck trying to climb up. And I, I thought I was actually going to die. I thought I was going to fall off. And I was hanging on by just like one little root or plant like on, on the, the cliff there. And I was, and all I could think about was like, oh my God, I'm going to be in one of those like, one of those videos where it's like somebody caught on film the moment this person died. This was going through like going through me for about like five to 10 minutes. I was stuck in this one spot. Everyone's yelling at me like, oh, just like, go, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And then I just, it was like one last like reach for something and, and pull myself up. And I remember being so relieved that I was just like, oh, all right, I'm just going to jump off this thing. But there was a, there was a moment there that it was pretty hairy. Someone said that I actually, when I sent out uh, my request for fan questions, which I got quite a lot of, someone said that some of that episode was not actually filmed in Catalina and made it look that way. Is that true? Oh, look at you getting to the bottom of stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it, eh? Probably because we did a lot of pickup scenes where it was definitely out of order and we had to pretend like prom just happened. Wait, now pretend like prom is about to happen. You're like, but what? I'm so confused. <laughs> and so we did do all of that. And we were such brats at that age where we were like, we thought the whole show was going to bomb. So when they like made us relive experiences, it felt like inauthentic to us. So we would just like mess with it. We'd be like, oh no, the bear is coming. That, that one was, <clears throat> that one's a little stretch because they put a tent up in Trey's backyard and we had to pretend like that was <laughs> yeah. in the tent putting Steven in a bear suit again while Trey's mom's like doing dishes five feet away. It's like, what are we doing? Well, I will say, I think that was like the coolest part about our experience because their reality TV was not really a thing before Laguna Beach. So I don't know about you guys, but I thought it was going to be like a true life. Like that was 
the extent of reality TV then. So when they said it was going to be a full series and then why not you have this conversation about prom three weeks later, we were like, okay, like that doesn't make sense. Or why don't you walk in the store again? We were all just kind of like, okay, like I don't really get it, but let's do it. I think like in retrospect, we all would have been very different um, had we known, had we been exposed to reality TV the way that we have now. But in a way, I feel like that's what made, that's what's made Laguna Beach so iconic is because we really went in with no expectation, having no idea what we were doing. There was one time that they had me walking down the street and they had a producer on the other side of the street and they were like, just look at her. And she's like giving me these dirty faces. So I'm like, oh my God, look at her. And of course they made it seem like I was like looking at Lauren being like, oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> we had no idea what was going on now like you said christina it's like we get it you know like we know yeah. how reality tv works so it would be totally different now but i think to your point like that's what made it what it was they had it all pretty well mapped out when it was time to shoot and um you know mtv i think the best thing that they did was was hire go go lucky productions which was headed by gary and, and julie Auerbach. um and they hi- they hired a good team i mean i know for me like some of my fondest memories of doing the show is is hanging out with the crew they were fun. They were really easy to get along with. They respected us as well as, as they could, but also had their job to do. Um, and so they're really good at kind of like walking that line with us of understanding, okay, what are they going to get and what's maybe too far? And, you know, they, they still got it. But um, we would only shoot, like they would, you know, talk to us kind of Monday through like Wednesday and Thursday, and they would shoot like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like every other week. So it wasn't anything crazy. And again, I think that they had everything pretty mapped out well. So it was like, all right, we're going to get these conversations between these people to lead up to this big event. And then here's the event. And then we'll do the aftermath with these people. And that's, that's kind of the whole, the whole map of the show that they did. Was there any storylines for you guys specifically that were like, you were so annoyed how they ended up showing up? Because I feel like, like you said, obviously conversations were taking place weeks later. Oh like, my, yeah. I mean, like how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I remember for more, at least for Morgan and I, the one in the nail salon with Lauren and Lou, I get asked that one a lot. I mean, I wasn't on as many seasons as some of these other guys, but that's like the main one that people are like, was it really that awkward? And it totally was not. But I remember feeling like the, I remember feeling awkward because we didn't know they were coming. Like they didn't tell us Morgan and I were there and then they sent Lo and Lauren and we didn't know that Lo and Lauren were coming. So if there was any awkwardness, it was just that we weren't expecting them. I was going to say, Steven, do people ask you a lot about your Cabo scenes when people bring up Laguna? They don't really, people don't really ask about it. It's not really the the, the main thing I get, I get asked about. I'm trying to think what is the main thing. I think everyone, you know, everyone just, everyone was just like, is, was, was the show real, you know, yeah. kind of where they always go. And, and, and it's like, did you actually, you know, did you know those people? Did you go to high school with those people? That's usually what I get asked. I have like a very clear memory of, I don't even know if this ever made it into the show, but as filming in Cabo, Steven getting so drunk that he tried to go jump in a fountain. Do you remember this? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, no, but I heard. And there's like a sound guy <laughs> chasing you, trying to get the mic off you before you make it. Mm-hmm. Did I go, did I jump into the fountain? I think so. I don't know if we saved the mic. Oh, man. I right. definitely did not make it to air. <laughs> I usually get asked if I know Steven. That's pretty much the thing that I get asked the most about. <laughs> <laughs> i'll get um people will um and i thank kristen for this people will just shout my name and in and in, in the way that kristen like to pronounce it um from from the <laughs> you want to, you want to we get people are always asking me to say it too i'm like God, come on man i don't even know if i can say it <laughs> <laughs> the best is like people try to they try to say it to me and and it's it's really really funny because they just they look pretty ridiculous when they say it it's nowhere close you guys should probably Kristen you should probably say it and Steven you should probably say it back so that we can have that on camera Steven 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 I <laughs> got it all right, so before we dive into more questions, we're going to do some trivia. Let's see how much you guys remember from the show. Probably not much since none of you have watched it recently, but let's see. Yeah. What hotel was the black and white affair held at? Serpent Sand. Serpent Sand. Sand. Yes. There's Where? like five hotels here. <laughs> <laughs> Which two of the girls wore matching prints to prom? Oh, that was me, me and Lo. Oh, and me, yeah, me and Morgan. Sorry, I had to jog the memory there. <laughs> I really thought Polster was going to get that first. 
Almost, <laughs> man. Give me by second. Where was Christina's 18th birthday party held? Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, we took a Duffy to Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> Morgan planned it for me. <laughs> now, see, that was something that was scripted, okay? I don't take credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now, sadly. So sad. Seriously, how do you, how, am, what do you, can someone tell me how to see everyone? Jesus. I'm so oh sorry, God. guys. Oh my God. Dieter. He just lost Dieter. What happened there? Hold on, let me see if he's. Like... He dropped the phone and then his, <laughs> his picture moved down. <laughs> he, and then... he was he was mad. He can't see all of us at one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now the order of everybody has shifted. I'm gonna have yeah. to get used to it. Yeah. 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 He's in there. Dieter, you're back. You're sideways. You're sideways. Oh, you're Dieter, gonna turn your you're sideways. You're sideways. Oh my god. There he is, Dieter Issy Nico Reality. I'm like, I'm literally 30. We're so old now, we don't know how to do technology. I'm, th I'm 34 going on like 90. I'm like, oh my God. What celebrity did Lo and Lauren both agree on would be their dream prom date? Oh, I just saw this the other day on like search. It was, uh, it was, uh, I got it, I got it. It was Chad Michael Murray. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. What happened to that guy? I was on like a search tab on Instagram and it was like, fun fact, Lauren Conrad wanted to go to the prom with Chad Michael Murray. And like, was you guys presenting an award or something? <laughs> well, it's probably because oh, no. we liked his show. And yeah. then Steven went and got on it and then- Ruined it for you. You could say it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna jump into some fan questions. Um, I, I did get a lot of fan questions. First up, there is a fan named Megan who wants to know if any of you would return to reality TV. I mean, I feel like I was on reality TV. I just ended my show a few months ago, so uh, I did. So I guess that's a yes. What about the rest of you? I think we're good. I feel like we, we did a, we did enough to last a few lifetimes. I always I always say that. People are like, would you do it again? I was like, I, I think we're, we're good for the next few lifetimes. One kid wants to know, Polster, how did the show impact your life? <laughs> I don't think very much. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wanted to know that? Yeah. Specifically <laughs> called <laughs> well, not specifically. I th actually thought about another thing. Like I, I would be the most likely for someone to be like, wait, who's Polster again? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've actually had, I've had someone ask me, they're like, dude, how's that Lauren guy? I'm like, dude, he's freaking hilarious. I've literally had like, two or three, I swear. I swear. <laughs> actually, I will say, I thought about this before my, the thing that I'm the most proud of by far is that someone uh, spoofed me on Mad TV. There was that Laguna Biatch, do you guys remember that? Yeah. Where they made fun of the show. And there was actually some guy who came in at the end as Polster. It was like the same actor, the same white guy who played all the all of us. <laughs> and he <laughs> threw a log down in the middle of the living room to start a campfire. <laughs> Easily my, uh, my most cherished claim to fame. Ashley wants to know if you could go back and relive an episode, which one would that be for Morgan? I mean, graduation was really fun. I mean, it was all fun. Like when I look back and people ask me about it, I'm like, it was just a fun experience. That's how I looked, looked at it. Mm -hmm. It was just a fun phase of my life. You know, it wasn't my life and it didn't like define my life, but it was just something fun we did, you know. Does anyone else have an episode that they, or a moment that they would want to relive from that time? That's one of the few episodes I did rewatch again was graduation and it like made me feel something. There was, I was really happy that that was captured. It was such a joyous time because we were going off, you know, just bright futures ahead of us. I just wished I was a little bit more in the moment in that time, you know, just like taking it all in. And I think that's what's kind of nice about the show is like some of those moments you get to relive that you're glad were captured. I think our senior year prom was really fun. Now that you asked me to remember. We had these like, <laughs> didn't we have two limos? Didn't we have like a limo bus? And then we got in that stretch limo where you guys had those funny face masks on. Or am I remembering that wrong? <laughs> we had like all of us met and we did like our prom photos for filming. And then we went to a second location and we actually had a much larger group. So we had like multiple cars and stuff. Um, all right. So one fan wants to know, what did others in the school think about the show? Like your, so your friends that didn't make it onto the show for one reason or the other. 
Okay, <clears throat> I will, I'll answer this. So, cause Talon and I were juniors when it first happened and I remember everybody wanted it. You had to be 16, everybody auditioned. And when they didn't get it, they were like, oh, screw MTV. Like what a stupid show. And then a lot of those same people ended up on season two. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> and also it was weird because everybody graduated and went to college. And then Talon and I were seniors in high school. And I remember the freshmen coming in, looking at us differently. And I was like, this is really weird. You know, it was just, it was different. It was a bizarre time. For sure. I mean, I think a lot of us were in situations where like, of course we're all friends, but we also had like sub, like other friend groups, right? Like, you know, like artsy, like, you know, skimboarder, surfer buds, whatever, you know, like we just had different groups. It almost was like a job. It's like, oh, I got to film on Friday from two to four, but I'll hang out with you when I leave this party to go see your party. Actually, another fan question we got was something that had happened, like a lot of the drama that was shown later on uh, was shown, like kind of had stemmed from something that had happened during the school day. Was there anything big that happened at school that you guys were surprised that like you couldn't really explain it or it didn't show, it didn't air on the show? Christina, you and I got caught ditching one day. Remember? <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble in high school. Like I got suspended. Like I was a bad kid and somehow I like pulled it off. I was like, yeah, I did it. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> How did overall your parents feel about the show? Like, did they watch it and have questions for you guys? What was that like? Um, my parents were pretty much okay with it. I gave them a lot of heads up. Like if I, you know, like we were saying, they would send us the episodes ahead of time. So if I did anything where I felt like they were going to be upset about it, I would just tell them. But they were like surprisingly okay with it all. I don't feel like they showed anything too wild. There were a couple episodes I had to say, hey, mom and dad, um, not my best moment. <laughs> but but they were supportive and and no, I mean, they were they were really cool about the whole thing. I think initially my mom was like, MTV, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but I wasn't living with my mom at the time. So I don't know that she had much of a say in it all. Um, and my dad was uh, supportive, so it was all good. I remember thinking like, especially probably the Cabo episode where uh, I was like, oh shoot, I gotta get, you know, call my grandma here and, and like let her know, give her a heads up. Maybe don't watch this episode. I saw her, we talked and we were talking about it. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm so sorry. And, and, and then I, I remember she just said to me, she's like, I think she kind of deserved it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> But it was it was one of those funny moments where some people in your family are like, oh my gosh, they're gonna like judge, they're gonna hate me. And then so you get like a dip completely different reaction from someone in your family, like, oh okay, well I guess it's not so bad. But definitely uh, there were there were some moments where I, I you know, had to uh yeah, give a heads up to the family, let them know I wasn't in my best shape. Dieter, where is the strangest place that you've been recognized? Wow. Um <laughs> <laughs> I think in I think in Germany, um, well, my wife's from Austria, so the show was there, and then everyone thought like Izzy had met this guy named Dieter and was coming back to Germany, and they were just so freaking happy. And I don't speak a word of German. I just arrived. I'm like, what's up? And her whole family was like, oh, big it's uh, ich bin Dieter. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> um, so I think it, I think it was it was cool because like my name is very 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 German, and there's not many Dieters in the U S. So. Anytime you're over there, it, you, you fit in. But I am learning German at the moment, so. What about the rest of you? Is there a weird place you've been recognized? I remember I was, I was in school in upstate New York, like in the middle of nowhere, and they would send us those VHSs. And I would like pick three people of like my new college friends that I would like dare to show them to. And the whole time, like I was just showing them and I was like, that's not how it was. Like maybe this was different. And then I would just think after it was over, like this thing is bombing. And for weeks and weeks, I was just like bombing. <laughs> the show is bombing. And I took a train into New York city and it was like in the subway, crazy. Like people everywhere recognizing me. And it was this great realization that like actually everybody in the world is seeing this. And it was like a little freaky, really freaky. What do you, what was something that you guys wish that like that you guys are happy that you got to have on camera? I know you said graduation, but I feel like overall it must be nice for that you actually have like home videos of all these great moments, a lot of these great moments with friends. I think all of it was like what an amazing privilege that we had. I mean, who what 18-year-old's dream isn't it to be on a reality TV show? I know like Morgan and I, I remember when they made the announcement. It's our senior year, so we went to school in sweats every day. And when they made the announcement, we were like, 
we got to go home. We got to change. So like in order, like just to have that experience was such a privilege. I feel like you mentioned, obviously you wanted to go home and change. We would be remiss not to talk about the fashion because you all had yeah. some really good looks back then. Steven, at what point were you told to like pull your shorts up and not show your best side anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sag my, my shorts and my pants a little bit, but it, it, it was worse is I didn't wear underwear for a long time. I hit puberty in college and realized I should probably start wearing underwear because a lot of my pants would smell. But uh, <laughs> so I eventually had to, uh, to, to, to hike up the shorts and, and uh, figure out my hygiene, wear some, wear some underwear. It was a thing in high school. We like, I think yeah. someone must no have dropped the hint. Like, this is the cool thing to do. We all did it. Okay. What about the girls? I feel like it's a little different. <laughs> I'd say the jean skirts and Uggs, right? The yeah. jean skirts oh, and Uggs. The very, very high shoes. Like not just the rocket, rocket dogs, dogs yeah. like, like breaking in higher. Mm -hmm. That we would get the Westminster too, right? And I think of like mix, miss 60 jeans, you know, the low. Mm -hmm. the low what about pants? the juicy sweatsuits? Juicy sweatsuits, it was all about yeah. that. I, I just have a vivid memory of girls wearing like jean skirts and Ugg boots. Yeah. I think Lauren and I were wearing jean skirts and Ugg boots before we were cast. We were ditching school and we were getting into one of our cars and it, it was parked right in front of the office and our car alarm accidentally went off and Adam DeVello, the producer, happened to be walking by at that exact time. And I think that's when we got cast on that show. <laughs> <laughs> that was the secret. I think the the minute I got cast when I was I went in for like the final interview and I was on my way up to like either Pulser's place or Joe Lebon or somebody and I had a pair of socks and a toothbrush and like that's all I needed to go to the next day. And like they just stuck on that question, like so just a pair of socks <laughs> and a toothbrush. Like that's it. And I'm like, that's it. And for some reason I think that that's what stuck with them. Do you guys, the rest of you know, like what it was that cast you on? Like Christina Morgan, do you guys know like what it was that they, why they wanted you guys on the show? Well, I will say Stephen touched on this before that we are actually, I guess you could call it God brother and sister where his mom is actually my godmother. So sure? yeah. No, I had no idea. So his older sister is one of my dearest friends. We were in each other's weddings. Um, so, I mean, we went on family trips together, raised a, like, together really so i think that was um something that they were drawn to and then again we were all friends so we were all in the same circle um Dieter, what about you what was your audition process like i honestly i i don't i don't really remember i just remember i think that's like the best part of i think why the show worked was we were just all best friends since like first second grade so i think it kind of started with steven and then you know we we were all I mean, Steve and I lived a block away from second grade on. And then I think what I'm most appreciative about the show is like, it, I mean, the downfall was college didn't really exist in a normal way, but it also like you navigated to your trust system with your really close friends. And in a time where probably people grow apart, we all stayed really, really close. So these three guys are still my best friends. I love that it's like actually high school friends. It seems like a lot of the shows now are very not that. So it's nice to see that some things were actually real friendships and everything else. Kristen, recently you and Steven posted a photo together and people are so obsessed with your guys' friendship, which I love. I think it's so cool. Does it surprise you guys in general that people are so invested in general in like all of your friendships with each other? Yeah, I mean, that's actually the number one question that I get is who I still talk to. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that Steven and I kind of knew that it would create a bit of a frenzy. I didn't know how much of a frenzy it would create, <laughs> but um, I think it's sweet. I mean, I think it's nice that people are still so invested and care so much, you know, so many years later. I think it's really cool. Well, who who is still very close? I know that it's been a long time, but like you guys said, the guys are obviously a few of you. I know Dieter's pretty upset that you guys aren't wearing your bracelets, but are, are many of you still? <laughs> close I will yeah. say I will say like Lauren's always been a sister close friend to me and same thing through like all of life and then after the show post show so yeah um I Morgan and I speak frequently um and then I see several of you on a fairly regular basis but I mean I feel bonded to all of you because we all went through this experience together so just being and seeing all these faces I feel like it's like no time has passed uh I'm still friends with Lauren uh, 
I see Steven, uh, you know, we run in some of the same circles. So I see him every once in a while. There's like this perception that Laguna is like this giant town. And it's actually, I mean, at least that's like what people have told me. And it's, it's actually a much smaller town. Um, and I just feel like you run into, you know, people you grew up with all the time. And it's, you know, it's like you picked up where you left off. You know, it's kind of cool. So I'll also say, um, so, I, well, not that I, but I have a children's clothing line and also too, it's just been so fun to connect with. I mean, I know Lauren's been like so supportive and low. I, I like emailed her when the beginning, when she bought something for her niece and we did this like pop-up at um, Palisades Village and then Kristen's brand was also there and then Lauren's little market was also there. So I felt this like closeness of like, I felt like, I don't know, it felt really good just to like, I felt close to them and it's so nice to also be supporting each other through our like different projects and endeavors and um i i do keep up with what everyone does and what everyone's accomplishing and so that's also been really cool just to kind of support each other in kind of the next phase of life morgan your new collection's very cute <laughs> i have my shopping cart going now <laughs> oh Kristen, by the way your true comfort cookbook arrived today so thank you for that Oh, good. <laughs> I know, and I do it. Yeah, I have Kristen's cookbook, so it's just fun to like see uh, a project. So, guys, and I want to thank all- you guys so much for doing this because, of course, it is for such an important cause. And again, I need to reiterate that you guys went. 20 times your goal of 500 people registering or checking their registration. I want to make sure everyone knows that that's just the beginning. Of course, now it's time to make a voting plan. Go out there and use your voice. It's very, very easy. You can click the link in this. Thank you guys so much for all doing this. The ultimate Laguna Beach High School reunion. It was so nice to see all of you. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm kind of bummed that it's over. (laughs) (laughs) Stoked to talk to you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, everyone. We're really signing off now? Okay, bye.